The HAL Tejas MK2, as of 2025, represents a formidable evolution in India's indigenous fighter aircraft program. Building upon the legacy and foundational success of the Tejas MK1 and MK1A, the MK2 steps boldly into the realm of medium-weight, multirole fighter jets. The shift in design philosophy and the incorporation of more powerful systems and advanced avionics mark a significant leap for Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, and India's ambition to bolster its air dominance with indigenous solutions. At the core of this upgrade lies not just an increase in physical dimensions and engine thrust, but also a sophisticated redesign to enhance combat capability, survivability, and network-centric warfare readiness. The MK-2 is no longer just a light combat aircraft, it has grown into a full-fledged medium fighter, capable of replacing the aging Mirage 2000, Jaguar, and MiG-29 fleets with a platform tailored for modern warfare. The most noticeable aspect of the Tejas MK-2's design is its increased size and redesigned airframe. The aircraft is now approximately 14.6 meters long, compared to the MK-1A's 13.2 meters, and the wingspan is slightly increased as well. This stretch in the fuselage is not merely cosmetic, it allows for larger internal fuel storage, increased payload capacity, and more room for avionics and mission-critical systems. The aerodynamic refinements include a compound delta wing and close-coupled canards, which significantly improve lift, maneuverability, and agility at various speeds and altitudes. These changes also contribute to better handling characteristics in both dogfight scenarios and high-speed interception roles. The canards play a crucial role in controlling the airflow over the wings, enhancing the angle of attack and allowing for tighter turning radii without stalling, an essential trait in modern air combat. One of the most profound upgrades comes in the form of propulsion. The Tejas MK2 is powered by the General Electric F414 GINS6 engine, a marked improvement over the F404 used in the MK1 variants. This engine generates a thrust of approximately 98 kilonewtons, providing a much higher thrust-to-weight ratio. This means quicker acceleration, better climb rates, and a higher sustained turn rate, all invaluable in aerial engagements. Moreover, the increased engine power supports heavier weapons payloads and extended range capabilities. With this engine, the MK2 is expected to reach speeds of up to Mach 1.8 and achieve a service ceiling well above 50,000 feet. The F-414 has already proven its mettle in other global fighter platforms such as the F-A-18 Super Hornet, and its integration into the Tejas MK-2 marks a confident stride toward performance parity with other fourth-generation fighters. The avionics suite of the Tejas MK-2 is where the aircraft truly enters the modern era. The cockpit is fully glass, meaning it uses multiple large multifunction displays to provide pilots with real-time data from all sensors and systems, eliminating the need for traditional analog gauges. The centerpiece of this setup is the wide area display, flanked by secondary multifunction panels and a digital moving map interface. The aircraft also incorporates a state-of-the-art head-up display HUD, and is compatible with a helmet-mounted display system HMDS, which allows pilots to cue weapons simply by looking at the target. This drastically reduces pilot workload and enables faster engagement timelines, especially during Beyond Visual Range BVR combat. From a radar perspective, the MK2 is equipped with an indigenous UTOM active electronically scanned array AESA radar, a significant technological advancement for India's defense sector. AESA radars provide superior tracking and targeting capabilities, resistance to jamming, and simultaneous air-to-air -air and air-to-ground functionality. This radar system can track multiple targets simultaneously, map terrain in high resolution, and detect stealthier objects with greater fidelity. Complementing the radar is an integrated electronic warfare suite that includes radar warning receivers RWR countermeasure dispensers, self-protection jammers, and towed decoy systems. This comprehensive EU suite ensures that the MK2 can not only detect threats early but also actively counter them through deception and evasion techniques, giving it a critical survivability edge in contested airspace. One cannot discuss the MK2 without highlighting its expanded weapon-carrying capability. The aircraft features 11 hardpoints, up from the 8 on the MK-1 variants, allowing for a versatile mix of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and air-to-sea munitions. This includes indigenous weapons like the Astra BVR missile, 
the Rudram anti-radiation missile, and the BrahMos Inc. supersonic cruise missile. International options, including the Israeli Derby, Python 5, and American Origin Paveway Series precision guided munitions, can also be integrated, thanks to the MK2's open architecture avionics. The increased payload capacity, estimated to be around 6.5 tons, means the Tejas MK2 can function as a multirole combat aircraft with equal effectiveness in interception, strike, and close air support missions. Additionally, the aircraft supports mid-air refueling via probe and drogue, extending its operational reach and enabling deep strike capabilities. What also sets the Tejas MK2 apart is its embrace of stealth-conscious design elements. Although not a stealth aircraft in the strictest sense, HAL has taken care to reduce radar cross-section RCS wherever possible. This includes the internal reshaping of air intakes, the use of radar absorbent materials RAM on critical surfaces, and minimizing external protrusions to create a cleaner radar profile. The use of composites in about 45% of the airframe further aids in reducing weight while enhancing structural strength and radar signature management. While it won't be invisible to radar, it will be significantly harder to detect and track than many legacy fighters, offering valuable survivability advantages. Another area where the Tejas MK2 shows growth is in its systems integration and digital backbone. HAL has implemented a centralized mission computer system, allowing various onboard and offboard systems to communicate seamlessly. This forms the basis of a network-centric warfare platform, enabling the MK2 to serve not just as a shooter but also as a sensor and information node in an integrated battle network. It can receive and relay data from AWACS, satellites, and other aircraft in real time, which is essential for modern combat that often revolves around information dominance. The aircraft is also compliant with MIL STD-1553 and other international standards, ensuring interoperability with allied forces and systems. Logistically and operationally, the Tejas MK2 is designed to be user-friendly and maintainable. Modular design principles allow for easier servicing and quicker turnaround times between missions. The digital diagnostics and health monitoring systems ensure that potential issues are flagged early, reducing downtime and increasing mission availability. This is critical in both peacetime and conflict scenarios, where readiness and responsiveness can make all the difference. HAL has also emphasized maintainability in field conditions, with an eye toward the Indian Air Force's operational environment which includes a diverse range of terrains from deserts to high-altitude regions. From an economic and strategic standpoint, the Tejas MK2 also holds immense value. It drastically reduces dependency on foreign platforms and supply chains, supporting India's long-standing goal of defense self-reliance under the Admanarbar Bharat 